Hello beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to When the Stars Aligned. <laughs> my name is Kelly, and in this video I'm going to be talking about human design and astrocartography, and how I've recently played with some interpretations of bringing those systems together. So this video specifically is astrocartography placements for your human design type. Now if you are new to astrocartography or you want a little bit of a rundown, here it is, and I'm going to keep it as simple and hopefully easy to absorb as possible. Astrocartography is locational astrology, or it's the astrology of geography. We are all born, right, with a unique natal chart that is comprised off of our birth details, including the coordinates, the location of where we're born, because where we are born does deeply impact how the constellations are read in certain configurations and what that means for all of the planetary placements in our chart. So in the moment you're born, in that location, it casts the map of your natal chart, which has all of your planetary signs. Now in that exact same moment, planetary lines were doing something across the whole world. So just like you may have heard of ley lines or energy vortexes, these places that have highly condensed or specific energy on the planet, you can think of your astrophotography lines like your own personal ley lines for your soul <laughs> and for for um, the relationship you're going to have in different plates, places on the planet. I truly believe that we are in relationship with the land, that we are in relationship with locations. It's not just this like dead, like unsentient thing. It's, it's sentient. It's a living, breathing relationship. And different places will pull different things out of us or trigger and spark different things within us. And I've experienced this having, you know, lived in many different places around the world in the last 10 years, having chosen a, a bit more of a nomadic pace of life. It's been really helpful for me to utilize that wisdom in astrocartography and help people understand certain places they can go to or places they can visit to activate and to call in different like frequencies in their life or qualities within themselves or to utilize different locations to step into new chapters in their life or whatever that may be, romance, relationship, becoming a mother, um, attracting love or working with business or all of these things. So I'm going to go into this video now, we're going to get right to it, and we're going to look at one placement, one aspect that I think is really good for each human design type. And if you want to have your own more thorough deep dive reading, I offer both human design readings and astrocartography readings, and you can find those in the description below. Next up, let's look at generators. For generators, I picked a Venus line. And honestly, Venus in any aspect, maybe Venus on the Ascendant, because generators, you know, we're here to, honestly, we're here to, like, feel really good about how we're using our energy. We're here to feel really good about how we move through the world in our body. We have this sacral center that is, you know, it's creativity embodied. It's art embodied. It's beauty embodied. It's life force embodied. And a lot of people throw generators in the category of like worker bees. I have not met a generator in my life. And I've worked with and talked with many generators who like being a worker. You know, I don't think the nine to five structure is built for anybody. So it's really about feeling connected to who they are on a deep level and feeling connected to what they love. If a generator is not connected to what they love and they're not connected to their authenticity, they're going to have a really hard time working gonna feel like nails on a chalkboard it's gonna feel like dragging a ton of bricks it's gonna feel so hard and venus lines illuminate love in our life venus lines will inherently tap us more into beauty and artistry and creativity and make us want to prioritize love and beauty and you know the more <laughs> like wonderful aspects of life and i think that being on a venus line for you know a living situation would be great or even just a shorter immersion, like a few weeks, or if you're doing like a few months of living on a Venus line, I think it can be really healing for a generator because so much of what generators are taught is that their inherent joy is like um, selfish. I mean, so many generators where we have to like decondition them out of this state of like, I'm not allowed to feel happy and joyful because if I am, I'm being selfish and lazy. <laughs> like, like it's bad for me to prioritize my, my joy. It's bad for me to prioritize what makes me feel good. I need to make sure that I'm being productive for other people. That couldn't be further from the truth for generators. Generators are here to own their sacral magic. They're here to own 
their unique creative expression in the world. And Venus will help you do that. Venus will help you remember that it's okay to love what you love. It's okay to be who you are. It's okay to celebrate your unique artistic, artful expression. So Venus lines, if it's on the ascendant, it's gonna be more direct. It's gonna be more about you, which, which can be good. Venus on the midheaven can be great if you're like wanting to tap more into career and work or like an offering you're sharing in the world or cultivating your gifts and skill sets, ones that you love and that light you up. But I feel like Venus on the Ascendant is really good for coming back to your sacral beingness. Um, Venus, you know, goddess of love, Aphrodite, it's, it's sensuality, it's eroticism, it's joy, it's sensu it's like this the sensuousness of life. And nothing is more magnetic than a generator who is in sovereign, like, permission and ownership of their juicy existence. It's like, it's like, oh, it's magnetic. It's life-giving. And when a generator comes back to that baseline for themselves and they pour that into anything they want to do, it offers a lot to the world around them just by being. So generator get yourself on a venus line let yourself experience the joy and the richness of your being and watch every area of your life like m momentously expand okay so yeah that's what we got for astro cartography and human design i was so excited to make this video i hope you enjoyed it let me know if you have lived on any of those lines or visited them as your unique human design type and yeah, let me know if you want to hear any other lines specifically. And yeah, I'm making this video today from my moon line, which has been good for me. It's been very stabilizing for me being on my moon line. Maybe I'll make a video about that. I was spending a lot of time on a Mars line until I finally decided to put myself on my moon line. And that's been really nourishing for me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to cut this here. And I hope you enjoyed and I look forward to maybe hearing from you or catching you on the next video. Okay, bye.